I've never felt that kind of... I've never felt famous, even though I am. I've never felt like I'm famous. I, I can pretty much go about my business without too much fuss. I wish I could say someone on the tube, what are you fucking looking at? <laughs> you know what I mean? Without, yeah, yeah, without, yeah. without, yeah. you know, without them being like taking a picture of you. Yeah. Radio X. Tier one rock and roll star, Mr. No Gallagher. Thank you. Hello. Bro, How are you? For tolerating When this. did you start wearing glasses? In the last six months. Why? Because I'm going blind. Why, why, why those particular glasses? Do you not like these? I think they're all right, aren't they? Why would you choose the glasses over the pink little girl's raincoat? <laughs> I was going to get to that, don't worry about that. Come on, we'll get to that, don't <laughs> and, and, and the Apple Watch. Oh, well, that's, right. yeah. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> I'm going to get hammered here. Slaughtered in the first link. <laughs> You've got glasses, haven't you? I've seen you with the glasses on. Yeah, but I, I'm not that stupid as to wear them in public. <laughs> I need them, though, that's the thing. No, no, no. And I'm not ready for oh, I can't, yet. I can't. I was asked to do something recently, whereas to read something out publicly, and it's like, I can't, I can't. Have you got glasses? I didn't know you had glasses. Well, of course you didn't. Because I'm, I'm not going to frighten you when we when I go to a restaurant. Oh, I'd love that. You no, for the little you book one. for the old menu and all that. No, that's what the wife's for. Okay. <laughs> You've never. I've, I once put my glasses on you. In that's a playful. Right. That's right. That's, <laughs> for where, a photo. that's where it first started. No, when I go to a restaurant, I don't. I don't. I just. I just look at the menu and just guess what might be on there. Yeah. I say, ah, oh, the chicken. <laughs> Yeah, right. There's probably chicken on there, right? Yeah, yeah. Blind as a bat. And then you get blind as a bat. There's a reason we've brought the show to Manchester, Matt, um, with Matt, because you couldn't come in the last time because you were exchanging Japanese yen at the Bureau de Change. That's right. Which was a slightly disappointing amount in the end. When he was Gordon cashed. was quite upset that I said I yeah, thought was... Noel couldn't come in and do it because he had something to do. It was getting his hair cut <laughs> and changing up about forty quid. I thought it was going to be about five hundred quid, right? Because yeah. some my tour yeah. manager handed me a load of load of yen and said. There's your PDs, and I was like, nice one. I think it's lovely that you well, get I got PDs. Pair of DMs. I know, yeah, I know. But then I got back to back to London, and then I thought, well, I'll cash these in. Yeah. I cash them in. <laughs> I know, you I was know. there. You had a big stack of them. What a big wad. Yeah, it was 38 quid. <laughs> <laughs> I said to him when I got back, why are you giving me 30 quid? Yeah. And he said, well, it's because you're owed it. And I was like, fucking hell, 30 quid, 38 quid? Imagine you work in a bureau de change. No Gallagher What did the fella say? What did the bloke Changes say? Changes up 38 quid. 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 Fucking no idea who I was. <laughs> did they not? Didn't no, he was yeah. fucking Lithuanian or something. Like <laughs> Is it because you're under so much pressure to pay for the V-Bucks at home that any little they are. extra 20 quid? Yeah. What's what the think, worst what damage? V-Bucks? So if you play, if your kids play Fortnite, you have to buy them battle packs with a thing called V-Bucks. Right. And my kids are rinsing me on well, this. My, my youngest, Sonny, has just sent me a text message with a picture of a new skin that's come out yeah. on Fortnite. Oh, yeah. How much? How he's, much? No, he's not worked it out that I'm not there. Yeah, yeah. I'm, like, I'm in Manchester, mate. He's going, oh, but new skins come out. But here's the thing: is there, is there an account with your credit card in it? They yes. can just press a button and you're no, done. No, 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 no. We have to stop that. I, li- <laughs> I like an idiot because Donovan is a devious bastard. <laughs> uh, it's like, oh no, Dad, it'd be fine. It'd be fine. Just put type your thing in there, and I was like, right. He said, that's it, it's cool, there you go, just got five pounds for people. Yeah. And I went off to Japan to do some festivals, and every time I switched my iPad on, they like 400 quid had been spent. <laughs> what? And I was trying to call him and say, what are you doing? And he was like, uh, hang on a minute, what? how are you spending money on my credit card while I'm not in the country? He said, well, just, just click this button here. <laughs> it could be worse though. He could have been buying someone else, and that would have been worse. What? Like what? What? Well, he's got access to your credit card. That stuff's internet. not real, it's just... In a, in he a does game. order. He, he can order stuff off Amazon though on right. his own. Yeah. Li- the li- like Supreme. <laughs> he could have emptied Supreme. The little lad uh, when they were all into uh, what was that fucking thing? The Pokemon cards. Yeah, Pokemon. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Package turned up at the house, and it was the yeah, like rare Pokemon cards that he'd ordered. Yeah. On his own off the internet. Yeah. And I think he was like six at the time. Yeah. I was like, this kid's a fucking genius. What? How's he effort? worked that out? Well, I don't know. I mean, it's, I don't know. That's obviously got Sarah's <laughs> Sarah's educated genes. I, 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 I can't work it now. I'm 52. That is one of the things we do in the show, me and Matt, is the, the most expensive mistake you've ever made. 
you can just take a second to first manage. <laughs> 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 I thought it might be, thought be more expensive. Edit that, that one out himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Drummers have been expensive, haven't they? No, I don't. No, no, no. Really? Expensive mistake. Oh, the, my 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 hundred and ten thousand pound Jaguar. Oh, really? That sits in the garage. What about the chocolate Rolls Royce? I thought it was a brown Rolls Royce. That was well, a the, gift. The though, Rolls Royce was a gift. gift. Yeah, yeah. Right. The Jaguar I bought and has got, I think, 12 miles on the clock and it's still sitting in the garage. Is it still in the garage? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's still in the garage. How long has that been in the garage? Since the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I thought when I became a fully blown rock star, I was like, well, I haven't got a car, so I'm going to need a car. Yeah, yeah. And I'd heard about this firm that buy old vintage car chassis and put, and put a modern car inside them. So I got... Uh, a Mark II Jaguar from 1967. Yeah. It was like the year I was born. And they take about 18 months to two years to build. And I thought, I'll like easy will have learned to drive oh, you two got years. To, would you, were you going to learn? I was in the kitchen one day and this low loader pulled up outside the house <laughs> with this car on the back. And I was putting the car on thinking, fucking lovely car that on the back of that truck. <laughs> I'm going to get one of those one day. And a guy does that thing, Mr. Gallagher. He's like, yes, he said, we've delivered it to your car. <laughs> That and you've what? not done it. I'd forgotten that I'd bought the car. You Can you learn to drive? Do you think you could? No, I'd be too impatient. Even when I'm in the back of a car, I'm on the verge of getting out in traffic yeah. and just going up to people, knocking on the window, going like, you fucking moron. Yeah. You fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I hate people. It's like I you went too. for a drive with Paul Weller. Do you drive? It? Yeah, I drive. You drive. Yeah. I do, yeah. If you go driving with Paul Weller, you're literally taking your life into your own hands. <laughs> You've Can you drive though? I've never been yeah, in a car. Yeah, yeah. Have I been yeah. in a car with you? Uh, no. I wouldn't like to be in a car with you, Matt. I no, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Russell's bad. Russell Brand. He's I've a been terrible in a car driver. with Russell yeah. in LA, and it was a horrific experience. <laughs> oh no, it's properly dangerous. <laughs> and the yeah. and the weird fucker had wet wipes in the in the yeah, yeah, light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. I mean? It's always odd. got wet wipes that around. But you've got. I'm just thinking. You've got a fleet of obsolete vehicles. You've got a scooter. A Jaguar, a Rolls Royce, all sitting there not being used. Well, Gordon, you've got to spend it on summer. You do, that's correct. Yeah, Can I ever go on the Jaguar? I go on it. What, are you going to sit on the roof? Drive around <laughs> on it. Go on it. In we it. took it, actually, we, uh, we took it for a drive recently. Uh, Sarah was driving it around. It's convertible as well. It's, it's an amazing car. All oh, right, so Sarah does drive it. So someone's. No, driving. no, no. We just drive it. She just drove it the once and said, How long have you had this? And I was like, 20 years well yeah, she just yeah. found it in the garage no like it was it happened to be in a garage we were we were near at the time and right. said oh let's go and have a look at this like going to visit yeah. an old auntie <laughs> <laughs> let's right. go and let's go I and have a look at garage. the jaguar <laughs> and there she was under a tarp or like a thing it's, yeah, in, yeah. A, it's in a like a professional garage oh right was. yeah and uh the guy was like um saying oh oh you've come to see the jaguar <laughs> and i was like yes he's still here and he said yeah he's at the back somewhere and he took it out and then we drove it around for about an hour, put it back in the garage. I haven't seen it for about another five years. Yeah, you're the man who got 40, 40 yen. 40 yen. 38 yen. Yeah. I'd get you so 38 two, pounds. Sell the two miles, two miles per gallon. I don't want it. I'm kind of a hoarder. I don't really want to yeah, sell it. I yeah. think I'm, Aeneas is looking kind of quizzically at us. He's going, you still got that Jaguar? Yeah, right. All right. So I don't know, I don't know what to do. No, another thing we talk about is non-romantic dumping. It's probably better if you yeah. explain it, Matt, because I'm not quite as good as explaining it. So there was this, uh, it started from this text that this man got. He started being friends with this guy at the gym, and the guy at the gym sent him a text going, I sort of think we've gone our separate ways. I want to focus more on my back and legs, and you want to do this and that. <laughs> so he got this text. He was like, it's not you, man. I love you. It's the whole gym thing, right? Oh, so, right okay. so he was dumped by another man unromantically, <laughs> right? Have you ever <laughs> been dumped in a similar way? Never. Or dumped and... Uh, I had to let, say to people, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Got I mean, yeah. Like, obviously yeah. bonehead. Uh, like <laughs> yeah. More drummers. Drummers. Yeah. Tim, the last guitarist, was an American, but he knew it was coming because he's an American. Right. <laughs> you know, he was like... In fact, he preempted at the end of the tour, he said to me, I'll never see you again, will I? And I was like, <laughs> it's unlikely. <laughs> how do you, how do you, is it, it going to be a Scouse call as well? Will it be a Scouse uh, No, 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 the band's settled now. No, they're all good. Um, I don't think I've ever been, I don't think I've ever been let go via text. And I don't think, no, see, that's what I've got. 
an office full of people for. Yeah. Ah. I just call them and say, you know that snivelling <laughs> get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> get rid of him. And she'll say, you mean Matt? And I go, no, not <laughs> Matt. Not Matt. <laughs> not Matt. You've got a great lineup for today as well. Inhaler are a fantastic band coming yeah. through. Dove's absolutely superb. White Denim, good too. I've never heard a single solitary crotchet of music by White Denim <laughs> in my life. No. Really. No, have you? No. I don't, I've not, not, I mean, I, I've heard the name, but John I don't. John Kennedy raves about them. Yeah, he's into them. Respect his opinion. He's a talented man. Never, no one's ever said to me. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure they're great. I mean, I suppose I'll have to check them out eventually. But yeah, Inhaler are good. Yeah. And uh, the Doves, I'm going to go see them in a minute when, um, when they come on. Yeah. I was going to, they're, they're massive City fans as well, aren't they, Doves? Uh, two of them are. Yes, the William. Yeah, they are. They are City. Yeah. I, uh, I think one of, one, one of the brothers sadly slipped through the net and is a red. Oh dear. And I think Jez and. Um, there they are, they're going on now. Yeah, Look, there, they on there. Right, there they are. No, um, Matt, Matt isn't a massive football fan, no. Could you do a little job in it and just try and explain to him why Pep Guardiola is such an important phenomenon in football and how it, it should coax him in? Because uh, for the, the game itself that's been going for, what, a thousand years, he, re Not that long. he <laughs> reinvented it. He right. reinvented it. He's a dapper man. Well, no, he didn't. Yes, he did. He reinvented what, it. What? They use the a square ball. The way that the <laughs> game is played now is directly derived from tactical innovations that he made when he right. was a young man. And if he was a manager for Liverpool, would you say the same thing? Oh, no, I think he was a. <laughs> 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 Who's Vincent Company? Isn't that something? He's just left. Or something? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> He was, want to turn he, into match of he the day. Was, uh, he was City's captain for 10 years. I met him yeah. in your dressing room. Yeah, he's nice. Yeah. Lovely he was a guy. Nice, nice Lovely man. man. A very generous man as well. Did he not give all his testimonial money to the homeless in Manchester? Uh, I think he's, when, when he has it, I think in a few weeks yeah. he's going he's to give it. Really? Play. What a brilliant bloke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think he gets enough attention. Imagine you could give a Jaguar. I'm sat in a garage or a, homeless a little scooter from Bonner. I'd let someone live in it. They want to live in it. The homeless person wants to live in it more than welcome. You know my kind of questions. <laughs> I do, yeah. Probing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Odd. I just want to ask you this. Just if, a, bit, a bit like your sexual prowess. Oh, yeah. Probing and weird. Probing and weird, that's, yeah. That's my name on Tinder. Yeah. <laughs> um, all great. <laughs> if, Noel, in a fit of anger, you killed a drifter. What, the chocolate bar? No, a human being. Right, yeah. If he was, like, cheating at cards or something, yeah. it annoyed you in some way. Right. You, got so angry you killed him mm. how would you get rid of his body or her if it was a woman how would you get rid of a body I'm asking and you can't use pigs you can't use pigs well pigs will eat oh will eat anything that's what you know but that's what everyone says be creative I'd probably make a phone call to someone in Manchester <laughs> right. who specialise in that kind of thing. I think I know the person you mean. I think no, we, yeah. not him. No. <laughs> no, not him. No, no, there'll be a level above that. <laughs> right, there'll yeah. be a level above that, yeah. I'd probably, I'd probably call somebody up here and say, there's been a, a little accident. I've got the body of a small drifter <laughs> in the boot of my Jaguar. <laughs> yeah, put him in the boot <laughs> of the Jaguar. And you need to make it disappear. Right. <laughs> So, right. yeah, I think that's that, good. Then that's what that, I'd do. That, that answers my yeah, question. That's answered. answer it. One he of would, the drifters. He would, uh, what would you do? Um, I think I would use because you 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 are quite innovative when it comes. Oh, to I think I chop stuff. them into small. Like I'd, I've got time, yeah. I'd chop pieces up See, and then barbecue the pieces to ashes. Wow. In yeah. the garden, it's just slowly burn them away. Did you right. know when Matt was younger, he used to paint blood on his toys to to see what they would look like when they were bleeding. Gordon, there's nothing <laughs> that shocks me about this weird fucker. Let me tell you that I get on a daily basis. I've got to delete a lot of stuff yeah. that he sends me yeah. and I fucking know it's on iCloud and I know at some point I've said to him <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've said to him many oh, times yeah, I've said to him many times going mate one day you know we're gonna you'll lose your, you'll leave we're your gonna, phone in what, the cab someone's going to be up in front of the magistrate for this shit <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
I think all three of us actually are terrible hypochondriacs. I'm not. Different scales of hypochondriacs. Oh, yes, you are. But you, you, you have you. You're mental. <laughs> you're bad. No, you've got no you're worse. <laughs> Uh, the irony of this is you've got an illness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's an actual illness. But hang on, you've wait. got a sickness. Wait, it's <laughs> Gordon knows about your little sweaty hypochondria leg. event. Sweaty that was, leg. One that was, sweaty that was leg. Years ago. Sweaty leg. That was years ago. Still you. One sweaty leg. <laughs> I was high. <laughs> Ex- well, explain anyway, it. go on. B- before about we it. get into the hypochondria, though, you had a genuine injury recently that I think we'd like an explanation on. You properly cut your nose. It looked like somebody had st- stuck their head on you. Now, this happened at Lily James' birthday party, I believe. No, it didn't happen at the birthday party. What happened? I'm no. not telling you what fucking. You know well what Is happened. I'm not telling you. I'm not telling people on camera. I don't know. I don't. Know. I genuinely don't know what happened. I don't know anything about this. It's, it you know, like you. Good, it must be. You good, must though. have told him. I don't, don't know anything about it. it. I honestly don't no. know anything about it. Right. I got in, I was fucking messed up. And I dropped my keys in the bathroom and like an idiot, why I felt I could catch these keys before they hit the floor, well I was drunk, right? (laughs) And I I misjudged the distance between my (laughs) nose and the edge of the sink. Ah. You stuck the head on the sink? Oh, yeah. Ah. On the bridge, on the bridge of the nose? Yeah. Did you knock yourself out? No, I didn't, but it was... No. Sarah was away, right, and uh, I kind of went, I went to bed, and then in the middle of that, I kind of woke up and thought... (laughs) (laughs) What's that weird taste? And... uh, kind of went to the bathroom turned the light on <laughs> and it was like properly fucking was I couldn't believe it I was just like oh you stupid old fucker what have you done and then of course the next day I get up and it realise I've bashed my face up and then my kids are facetiming me from Scotland and I'm trying to do this <laughs> on the thing as Sarah's walking around in the back of the I- in Scotland the back of the iPad and I'm like alright and Sonny just said what's wrong with your nose <laughs> And that, there's nothing wrong. He's got dad's caught his nose, mom. Dad's caught his nose. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm sad to say I got very drunk and bashed my face up. Went back to an empty. What house. are you laughing at? <laughs> what are you laughing at? I thought it was going to be worse. To you. When you get to bad. Listen, when you, not when you get to my age, <clears throat> shit like that happens a lot. It's, that's not bad. It's not that you fell off your I chair. I that's an edited version of the story, is it? It's slightly abridged. Is that the truth? I didn't know. I didn't, didn't know. Them. How is there a picture of it though? It was, I don't know. Somebody Some said. fucking photographer followed me into a supermarket. Ah, oh, right. And what, was it like a plaster by then? No, I, I was coming home from somewhere. Oh no, I was coming home from rehearsals. I had to then explain it to everybody in oh, the band. Fuck, right. And I was coming home from rehearsals and there was a, just happened to be a paparazzi. Such fucking bad luck. Was, passed me in the street yeah. and he'd see me with a cut fucking nose right, right. and he followed me into the supermarket and as I turned around the corner <laughs> to buy some biscuits <laughs> to buy some biscuits he went hey in the supermarket but he fucking did it and he ended up in the papers Listen, Donald Trump's just been in town. Did he come around for a cup of tea? No, I flew over my house though. We live, uh, as you know, we live near the American ambassador's house. Yeah. And uh, when he was going to the palace, he flew over in the helicopter. Yes. My kids were shaking their fist at him. You and obviously you were, like, saluted. Him down. Hey? Down. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, funnily enough, when he, when he, when he landed, um, I had, had a meeting at the American embassy for a visa <laughs> thing. Yeah. My kids are going to school and they said, where are you going this time of the morning? I said, I'm going to the American embassy and they're like, what, to see Donald Trump? <laughs> and I was, like, milk so I, was, on so I was like, yes. Do yes. you remember you told me once that Mick Jagger had a Make America Great Again hat? No, I didn't say that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Matt, you're going to ask about first times, right? I, I want to ask, you know, do you remember the first time you realised you were famous? What was the moment you thought, hold on, this has changed? Can't remember. When somebody probably asked me for my autograph, that was a weird kind of. Yeah. Lars Ulrich. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I've never felt. I've never felt 
that kind of I've never felt famous even though I am I've never felt like I'm famous remember you said to me you're frozen in time at the moment you become famous which made you yeah, 26 yeah yeah, yeah, yeah which yeah. kind of makes yeah. sense yeah. You know? which is good yeah. age to be it's good age to be famous no I was just wondering because I used to say this to Russell Brand like if you could because they've got quite realistic latex masks like would you like to spend the day wait bear with me would you like to spend the day not with your face like in disguise you could go anywhere do anything nobody would be like oh no 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 I don't really care I'm not that I'm, re- I'm not that famous where it's like I'm like fucking Elton John walking down Oxford Street no it's I, only the Elton odd- John would be able to walk down there I no think- I'm, I, I, I can pretty much go about my business without too much fuss so I'm not like like you know like I'm getting out of a limo and there's 300 people there it's not like but that. is there anything that you wish you could do because even even though you could walk down Oxford Street or whatever but is there stuff you think yeah I wish I could push in queues right <laughs> there we get to the number of people yes. say hang on a minute it's a queue it's like fuck off no bed <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could do that without yeah. cool. someone going oh fuck <laughs> you <laughs> take a selfie who's here? this man with a rubber face yeah. pushing in <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wish I could say someone on the tube what are you fucking looking at? You know right. what I mean? Without, yeah, yeah, without, without, yeah, yeah. you know, without them being like taking a picture of you. Yeah. yeah. What was the first time you realised you were gen- genuinely, genuinely rich? It was a great day. Yeah. Never looked back. <laughs> it was a great. Somebody you remember it though? When yeah, it was yeah. like, hold on. Check comes through the door. Somebody came, was that I, I was living in a basement flat in Camden. No, it wasn't a check. Somebody from my office called me and said, "I just thought you'd like to know. I've just deposited a million pounds in your bank account," and I was like. Thanks. Nice one. Holy and shit. then about four hours later, for me, he said, this one, he said, I'll just put another million pounds in your bank account. And oh, I was that like, the Wonder Wall? Was that when Wonder Wall was in the charts? Uh, it would have been before Maybe. That, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was living in... Yeah, maybe. So when Joe Cole was kicking a ball at your window? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, do you know who Joe Cole is? He's great, a footballer. Great in Peaky oh, Blinders. He used to live around the corner. He used to be married to uh, Cheryl Come knock Cole. on the door and say, you coming out to play? <laughs> <laughs> be like, no, mate. What's your name? And, uh, it, yeah, he's, he's bouncing the ball outside of my, my front door. Right. Good lad, though. Time. Good lad, isn't he? A proper question. I don't. I'm not asked. <laughs> what What recent song do you wish you'd written? Like, is there a song out at the moment or last couple of years that you wish you'd written? I thought you were going to go for something dark. I thought be normal. <laughs> try, and be, right. try and be normal. Is everything, is right? everything all right at home? No. I'm worried about Matt. <laughs> no, I, I often I don't think, think so. There's no song that you write. I mean, look, there are songs. Yeah, but not recently. Music is fucking wank at the moment. So Who's this Capaldi fella? Lewis Capaldi. The fuck's that idiot? He is. I'm going to stand up for him. He's funny as fuck. It's because he's Scottish. Yeah. Yeah. Well, That's you it, fucking yeah. Scottish are uh, these fuck these fuckers. <laughs> if they found out Hitler was fucking Scottish, they'd go. Ah, the wee man was just a wee bit misunderstood. <laughs> so he was. Eh? <laughs> he likes a drink. He's near <laughs> fucking Adolf, man. I like Lewis. He's a good lad. You like him as well. What about Sam Fender? He's good. A little Jordy. Geordie's, wow. Yes. <laughs> Remember when you used to refer no, to... No, yeah, no, I never yes, did Yes, you did. <laughs> no, I you didn't. Did. I you didn't. Did. He told me once that this he had a, a relative lot. who used to say when he was going for a shit, I'm going for a little Geordie. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, can I just say... Geordie. He it was on the radio on the show. Radio. No, someone yes, emailed did. in and said, A little Geordie. I'm from okay. Dartford. I've got no connection. None of my relatives got any connection to <laughs> Newcastle. I'm on the radio once. <laughs> little Geordie. <laughs> now I get off air and go, <laughs> Geordies. I did a huge Geordie. How weird, man. man. Ah, How all weird, up the man. back of the toilet. <laughs> Three Geordies this afternoon. No, it wasn't me. It was not me. I think that's pretty much us, actually, Max. We've got to let Noel yeah, get, get off. Yeah, um, some weird stuff here about Chernobyl. Before Chernobyl. you're on off and all that, and we think Inhaler are brilliant. Really like them. And you've known about them for a long time. Can you just give us a little window into that and their development, how you've seen them come through because it looks to us like they've got a really bright future uh, well I've known Eli since he was a yeah. kid and uh, yeah he's learning to play the guitar and I was like okay and then uh, one I can't, I was about five years ago I've seen them they were practicing in the garden shed <laughs> not in my garden shed yeah yeah 
Uh, and uh, we went down to have a look at them and was like, they were a bit more punky then. And over the last few years, they've kind of, the, a, a few members have left and a few have joined. So the, where they're at now is like Echo and the Bunnymen and, and U2. Sounds great to me. Yeah, I mean, I, he's, good, got his, yeah. he's got his dad's gift with melody and all that. But I hope that, uh, I hope they do something. They're good. Excellent. Do you know a band called The Sound? <laughs> no. <laughs> they're really good. They were around the time of U2. Are they as good as Big Elf? <laughs> I once <laughs> sends me one. Once right. recommended Big Elf. So it's a big Big Elf. No, no, no. Money. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Money. Pure it's evil. It's pure evil. Yeah. yeah. I'm out with him one night in Amsterdam and he's going, oh mate. He always says, oh mate. It's just I always make my voice really like, like oh, it. Oh, 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 oh. If you really like this band called Big Elf and like Led Zeppelin meets Pink Floyd. And I was like, all oh, right. And I got this thing and it was like, shit. It was just shit fucking rock music. And he's going, we'll better trip money. And I was like, it go, he went, money. <laughs> It's pure evil. <laughs> I mean, it sounds good. It sounds good to me. It actually was the musical personification of dog shit. <laughs> it's annoying because, like, it's, it's quite hard to Has recommend music to you. Have you ever played music, music like Death yeah, Metal? Like, yeah, like, what do you no, call it? Drone. It's not. You don't know anything about <laughs> it. <laughs> Stick to your football, you pair of idiots. <laughs> Give yourselves a round of fucking applause. We've got to wrap up now. No thanks for doing that. No worries, man. Realize nice, you, mate. You've got to go and give it your 75% tonight. I'm going to go and see the Doves first. Nice one. Oh. Thank you very much, Snow Gallagher, Matt Morgan, at Ian Park. And remember, you can hear the whole gig later on on Radio X. Goodbye. <laughs> Radio X. If you enjoyed that interview, please subscribe or give us a like, or even click this link right here to get more involved with Radio X. Thank you very much. You've been fucking amazing. Amazing. Thank you very much for coming out to see us. It's going to be our.